Before you start the assembly, lay out all of your clean parts. There are four different oil ring springs in each engine. This one is the front facing outer spring, which means it goes on the front face of both rotors. This one is a rear facing outer spring and may have a blue paint mark on it. This is a front facing inner spring with a white mark. This is a rear facing inner spring with a blue mark. The colors on used springs may not be visible. Each oil ring spring has a round and square tab on its ends. The square tab locks into a square opening on the bottom of the oil rings. The round tab locks into round holes on the rotors. These are designed to keep the oil rings from spinning in the rotor. Here are your four cleaned outer oil rings and your four inner oil rings. You will need 12 side seals and 12 side seal springs. You will also need four outer oil ring inserts and four inner oil ring inserts. We make these inserts out of Viton because they can handle a lot more heat than silicone. We've been using the Viton oil ring inserts for over 20 years in all kinds of applications. These are cleaned stock Mazda corner seals. Be sure to clean all the carbon out of the round hole in the center. This is what the cleaned corner seal with a new insert should look like. Here we have 12 stock wire corner seal springs, but we often use these 12 corner seal springs because they are stronger for high performance applications, especially where there's a lot of boost involved. These are the 12 rubber corner seal inserts. Another upgrade to the corner seals are these Atkins designed two millimeter solids that don't need the inserts that often burn out under boost or nitrous applications. Be sure to clean every part of the rotor, especially side seal slots, corner seal holes, oil ring slots, and apex seal areas. Install the oil ring inserts into the oil rings. Use a screwdriver to straighten the seal. Sometimes you can use your fingernail too. This will ease the installation into the rotor. It is important not to use a sharp object because it may cut the seal causing an oil leak. With the rotor on the left gear up and the rotor on the right gear down, we are now going to install all of the forward facing oil control rings and springs. You will now pick up your white oil ring springs and with the round tip on the right hand side place the round tip into one of the little holes in the rotor. With the outer ring spring place the ring opening as far away from the inner ring opening as possible making sure the round tab is placed into its hole. Liberal amounts of petroleum jelly on the inside and outside of the oil ring will make the job easier. Each oil ring has two of these square depressions which will be placed on the square tab facing up on its opposing spring. We use a piece of wood that's been sanded smooth to help with the installation of the oil rings into the rotors. At this point keep on pushing down carefully on the ring, walking around the ring until you feel it seat. The outer ring is more difficult to install. Be careful you don't slip because it may cut you. Install both rings in both forward faces of the rotors. Flip the rotors over and install the rear facing oil ring springs. Hold the blue springs with the round tab facing down in your left hand. Make sure that the round tab sets down in the rotor in one of the round holes in the rotor. 
Then when you put your oil rings on, make sure that the square tab sticking up engages one of the square holes on the back side of the oil ring. Here is where the round tab on the spring should be placed. There are two round depressions on each rotor. Choose one. There are two square notches in the back side of each oil ring. One notch must line up directly with the square tab on each oil ring spring. As you did with the front face, press down carefully until each oil ring seats. Place small amounts of petroleum jelly in each corner seal hole and side seal slot. This will keep the seals from falling out of the rotors when it's turned over. Place your corner seal springs in each hole of the rotor making sure the opened end is toward the apex seal slot. Note that there is an upper and lower side to the corner seals. The upper side is usually more polished and sharper than the lower or spring side. If you're using used corner seals, never install them upside down because they may never seat correctly. Make sure each seal freely moves up and down. Make sure you install side seal springs with both ends facing up toward the seal. If you decide to reuse side seals, make sure the shiny side faces up away from the rotor because the spring side will have small grooves on it that may never seat properly. New side seals need to be trimmed to fit. Be sure to polish the end at an angle to match your corner seal. Before flipping the rotors over, put a little more petroleum jelly on the corner and side seals to keep them from falling out. At this point, we are now back to the front faces of the rotors. Install the corner seals and springs and side seals and springs the same way you did on the rear side. Stand the rotors up and place petroleum jelly in the apex slots. Install your apex springs with the tips facing up. Next, place the apex seal in the slot, making sure that the springs engage in the bottom of the depressions in the apex seal. The pointed end of the apex seal needs to point to the rear face of each rotor. Extra petroleum jelly will keep these apex seals from falling out. Check the seals for free travel without binding. Rotate the rotors and continue to install the remaining apex seals and springs.
This particular engine uses two springs per apex seal. Some engines may only use one spring. Apply petroleum jelly on all your rotor bearings. One trick we use to help hold the apex seals in place until we are ready to install the rotors is to wrap an old black water jacket seal around it. If you don't have any extra ones, a rubber band may work. Be sure to check the clearances on all the parts. Parameters may be found in the Mazda Tech Manual or the info sheet provided with this tape. The original three-piece apex seals have been known to beat the slot open at the top of the rotors. Be sure apex seal slots are not spread out at the top. This may cause the two-piece apex seals to fracture lengthwise. At this time, Mazda no longer offers three-piece apex seals. 